Hello, my name is Steve Thornton, and we're on a location. And what we're going to do is show you how to work a location and to see what shots you can get from one little area. Now, this is in Cologne, Germany. I was attending Photokina, and in, when we were driving into the parking lot, I noticed this old complex. And I said, this has got to be a great place to shoot. So without knowing for sure what was here, other than what I could see on the outside, I said, well, I'm going to set up a shoot and shoot anyway. So without further ado, let's go look at the first location, and we'll start there where it's this um, little area where Claudia, the model, was wearing a little yellow jacket. What I'm doing now is checking the histograms and checking to see if things are blowing out. And I'm going to adjust exposure down just a little bit because we had a few items that were blowing out completely. I don't mind if one's here and there is a little blown out, but if you have like all the white or all the blonde hair below that, you have a problem. All right, Claudia, right here, please. Very pretty. Then I like to show the model of the shot so she can get an idea of what we're doing mm -hmm. and what the framing is. Mm -hmm. cool. cool. I like cool. <laughs> Okay, now Claudia, just relax. Just be yourself. Good. Nice. Bring uh, the right shoulder. This yes, perfect. Let's move this this way a little bit. Good, that good. And then sometimes what you want to do is you want to kind of move around a little bit and change your what I call POV or point of view. Oh, pretty, Claudia. Very nice. And most of what I shoot is horizontal. And what I do is then is I put the subject on the extreme left. or It's a little too much. Bring up head up a little bit. That's good. I'll put the subject either on the extreme right or extreme left, which allows me to have room for the gutter or the center of the photograph to go across both pages of the book. In doing that way, you can wind up with a pleasing image. This is a very nice one, you. Okay. I like that. I like the scarf. Very nice. Oh, oops. <laughs> okay. We'll work around that. All right, turn to me. Yes, kind of lean like this. Good. Very nice. And what you want to do is you want to talk to the model as you're working. You let them know what to do, how to move. Very nice. Stay there. And sometimes I'll see something that's really spectacular, and I'll ask the model, do not move, because I like the light, or I like what he or she is doing. Bring your head this way a little bit. Good. It's very important to direct the model. Because if you direct the model, then you can have a better chance of getting what you want. Move the nose this way a little bit. Yep, good. Very pretty. All right, let's bring the sun swatter in here. That's good. That's too much. Let's uh, bring, the, bring the angle. Yes, yes, yes. Good. Now what that meant was we used a sun swatter, which is a translucent piece of material. And it allows, when the sun goes through it, it diffuses the light and prevents you from blowing out the highlights in the blonde hair. And by doing that, we can hold detail in the hair and still have the rest of the scene look really wonderful. And the reason I had to move it, it was a little too much. It was just, it was, it was, it was uh, removing too much light. So we changed the angle a little bit. And by doing so, if it's if the sun is there, and you have an angle like this, it's it's a very steep angle. If you bring it up more like this towards the sun, then you don't have as much fabric for the light to go through, and therefore you, it 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 improves the, the amount of light coming through it. Let's back this off a little bit. Okay, good. Let's see. Good. Now, if you can see here, shoot this, please. Watch, watch the face. See, there's no light there. 
we bring the reflector in, that's almost too much. So we bring it back a little bit so you can't really see, it's not beating you over the head, there's a lot of light on the face. That way you may not nearly know there's a reflector there. This is the way I like to shoot. I like to shoot where you don't see this, because now we, right here especially, in this area, you can see it's very, very brightly lit. So what I do is, I just feather this off one little bit like that, and now it's a little bit more pleasing. Okay. Pretty. Nose this way. Yeah. Nice. Now don't move the eyes so much. When you, when you move, if you're the camera, okay, and I'm the model. Now, I move my nose this way, and then I look way over here. You see how much whites of the eyes are showing? Not pretty. Yeah, good. Oh, I like that. I like that. Yeah. Turn to me and just kind of do this. Yes, 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 yes. Very nice. Pretty, 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 pretty. Yeah, it's good. Okay, we're going to change location, guys. We're done. We've got this.